Welcome to another episode of Between Classes, South Dakota State University's official podcast. I'm the host today, Andrew Song, here with a guest of ours on campus to talk about a uh, unique opportunity for students coming up here over the next month, Jana Hansen. Jana, welcome. Hi, thanks for having me. I'm Jana Hansen. I'm the AVP of Institutional Research and Assessment. I've been at SDSU for about six and a half years. Um, in our office, if you're not familiar with our office, we um, do a lot in terms of program level assessment of student learning. We're the ones that do the course evaluations, and then we also lead institutional surveys. So we're really the place to go to collect data and information to help uh, make SDSU better. Assessments, surveys, all that stuff. We know that that sometimes there are a lot of emails that fill up, but the one that you guys have going on right now is, is certainly important for this university and really the future of this university and the current students that are on it. That is the Campus Climate Survey. What is that? Yeah, um, everyone should have received an email just this last week giving everyone a heads up that we're doing our Sky Factor Campus Climate Survey. This is the fourth time that we've administered this survey. And this survey really helps us assess and evaluate our campus culture. Um, it provides an opportunity for the entire SDSU community to share perspectives on their experiences engaging with the university. Um, and it is for students and employees who work both on campus and off campus. So you don't necessarily have to work at the Brookings main campus to answer any of the questions. But the goal really of this survey is to, again, provide SDSU with information to inform policies, programs, and practices that enhance our campus environment. All this information is used to make decisions concerning different pieces and different areas of our campus. But this is a great opportunity to have both employees and students voice their experiences and perceptions of the campus environment. And it gives us feedback to specifically direct uh, university initiatives. Um, we use it as part of our strategic priority planning as it relates to campus environment and everyone that really interacts with the SDSU community. So, you know, this is a really good opportunity. We don't do it every year. We do it every other year. But it's a good opportunity for folks to let us know how it's going and give us some information about things we can do to help make the campus even better. You hit on a lot of really important points in that, but maybe diving into that a little bit more. It's a pretty important thing for the university, right? As, as we look at, at culture and, and the campus climate and things like that is uh, making sure that we're helping our students succeed and making sure that um, our faculty and, and, and staff are given the opportunities to thrive and grow and really um, invest in this place and in turn invest in that future generation of jackrabbits. Massive audience on the survey, right? As, as we talk about all of our students, all of our staff, and, and you even mentioned not just staff located here in Brookings, uh, but across the state with our um, uh, Rapid City, uh, Sioux Falls, all of our extension um, you know, members going on uh, throughout the state. Why is it important to, to hit on so many of those different voices and pockets of individuals. Yeah, we just really want to know how things are going. It's one thing to sort of ask, you know, individuals how things are going. But I just, and it's very nerve wracking, by the way, to send so much communication to such a wide variety of folks. But last week for the pre-survey email that we sent, that went to about 11,000 email addresses. And that's the sort of the width of um, information that we're trying to get from all the different voices on campus, you know, from people who have been here for a year to people who have been here for 20 years. We just really want to touch base with folks on how things are going. And, you know, we just all went through a, a pandemic, uh, sort of still in the middle of a pandemic, but we can always make improvements and we can always get better as a university. And that's just what we're trying to do with this survey. You mentioned that your office uh, earlier is kind of that that place that houses all these surveys and runs so many different assessments throughout campus. We see, uh, or students can see maybe emails pop up more frequently than sometimes they they, they want to, oh, another survey or, or today's world, right, is just so poll driven and, and survey driven and there's so many different avenues that they get hit on it. But I think it's important to maybe hit on why this one is so vital to the campus. Can you maybe pull an example or, or two of, you know, we've done the survey a few times now at South Dakota State, what are some examples of things that maybe popped up or that we were unaware of uh, on campus that, hey, someone someone stood up and raised their hand and said, hey, this is this is something I'd like to see fixed or, or, or I think we could get better in this area. Uh, are there any examples of, of actual uh, real change that have come out of these? 
Yeah, and I think all the different offices on campus can use the results in a different way. We do share pretty publicly um, how we're doing. We do have some benchmarking capability so we can compare our institution to some other institutions, which is helpful just to kind of see where we're at. So some examples of ways that different uh, offices have used the results. I know one office really sort of dug into the data and kind of what what students were telling us in terms of, you know, creating a welcoming environment. So this this office in particular has a lot of students coming in, having lots of questions, and they really decided to use the information that they were seeing in the survey to help make some improvements with staffing professional development, onboarding staff to make sure that staff really are that face of the office and and that they're as welcoming as possible when students come in and have different needs and different questions. And so we've seen across campus, you know, some office culture shifts that have occurred just with really trying to be student centered and trying to make sure that everyone that works in, you know, especially student focused offices does whatever they can to make sure students get their needs met. So we've seen that in terms of opportunities for students. I know The Student Association looks at the data. I've given presentations on survey results to that organization, and then they think of different ways of, you know, enhancing the student experience. So either programming or if something's not working, maybe we're getting some feedback that a that a particular policy or just kind of the way business is done doesn't seem to be working very well, then different committees can have those discussions and think about ways to just make things better for students in all aspects. So so the academic side, as well as the student affairs side. That's fantastic. So again, something that, yeah, it takes a little bit of time and investment on the students or staff or faculty and to say, my feedback is important. I want to make sure I give time to this, knowing too, though, that there's tangible things that come out of this that that can make lives better. Yep, absolutely. So we'll get the data back and all the reports back this summer. And then in the fall, what we end up doing, um, I, I always call it my tour, my campus climate tour. I go around sharing the results to different committees. If student groups want us to come talk about the results, we, we're certainly happy to do that. But we try to share that as broadly as we can so that people can figure out a different ways of using that information. So we'll try to find themes, you know, really concrete ways of thinking about the information and the data, and then helping folks figure out ways they can impact change on our campus. So it's it's very important. Leadership on campus takes it pretty seriously, and they really do uh, value all the information that the survey provides. They have lots of conversations about, you know, how to use the information. And again, it's really about continuous improvements for our students as well as our employees. All right, Jane, I'm going to throw a couple of rapid fire questions here related to it at you as we, as we uh, start to wrap this thing up. When does the survey or when does it open? Yep. So February 15th, everyone will get an email. It goes to your email box. So your SD state account, and that will have a link to the actual survey. So you click on that link and then you fill out the survey. It shouldn't take more than 10 minutes to complete the survey. And then it's going to stay open until the end of March. So March 31st is kind of the last day. And then we close it out. And then again, it takes a while to process the data and get the reports back. So we won't see that till this summer. But about the next six weeks is when the survey opens. We do send out reminders. If you forget or haven't had a chance to complete the survey, you will get a a couple reminders from us. But we really, really appreciate folks taking the time to participate in the survey. It's definitely information that we use. Jana, I said I had rapid fire questions for you, and then you answered all four Sorry. of them right there. No, that's uh, it's perfect. So we got the who, what, when, where, why of this, right? That that um, the survey opens tomorrow, takes 15, 20 minutes to get through. Vitally important that students, faculty, staff do this because we know that those responses really help shape the future of this. One question, though, to end it with you. I'm a student that comes up to you and says, why do I need to do this? What's the answer? What's the pitch? I would say the biggest pitch is this is one of the main opportunities to provide feedback on the campus and to make a difference and make a change for, you know, not just an individual student, but for all students, all employees. This is kind of our primary way of collecting that perception data and that that information about how things are going. If things aren't going well, we want to hear about it. If they are going well, that's also good, too. We want to hear about that. And this is really the one way, one opportunity 
to give us really good information about how things are going for a variety of folks on campus. Jana, thanks again. That's fantastic. This Campus Climate Survey, just a wonderful opportunity for our stakeholders here at SDSU to be a voice for change, to help change that culture, right? To share their opinions, their concerns, their highs, right? The good things that happen here as well and and calling those out, but certainly just an opportunity to, to share their voice. So thanks again for joining us. Thanks for having me. That does it for our latest episode of Between Classes. Interested in joining the podcast and talking about your organizations, ideas, groups, different activities on campus? Send us an email, sdsu.socialmedia at sdstate.edu. 